as a fan of Jeet Kune Do, I believe his philosophy was extremely advanced at that time. I think at least in his era, no one in his weight class could defeat him in a no-rules fight. From interviews with Chen Hemin and Hung Kim Bo, we can know that his explosive power and speed far exceeded that of ordinary people, and even today, he could still defeat some MMA fighters of his weight class. When I was young, I was a huge fan of Bruce Lee. Later, during my middle school years, I read many related biographies. What I want to say is that Bruce Lee was a martial artist, which itself is a whole different dimension. Therefore, he should be evaluated with the standards of a martial artist. Being able to found Jeet Kune Do, break down the barriers between Chinese and Western boxing styles, and articulate the philosophy of using no way as way, made him known as a martial saint by Japanese people. However, it surprises me that Chinese people have repeatedly slandered and doubted him. Perhaps it's a bad habit among young people to gain attention through opposition. I used to be like that too, but as one reaches middle age, one tends to become more objective. Bruce Lee was an excellent martial arts actor. From a cinematic perspective, his martial arts movements were quite standard but not flawless. Yuan Hua once said that Bruce Lee couldn't even do a backflip, only a C-de-flip, speaking from the perspective of a martial arts actor.